today's video. I am super excited. I'm going to be sharing my fall seasonal polish rack with you guys. This is a huge collaboration with a ton of YouTubers. I will have everybody's information down in the description box below. Um, I want to thank Amanda from the Nail Polish Hound for kind of getting us all together, hurting the cats. Um, she also makes all the beautiful thumbnails you guys are going to see, so thank you so much. Um, Everybody's information will be down below. Please, please, please go check out everybody's videos, you guys. There's some really fun um, YouTubers involved. These are some of my favorite polish videos of like the whole year. I feel like you get to see a lot of people's personal tastes. I think sometimes like when we, whether we know it or not, we kind of subconsciously take in what the polish trends are as well and um, kind of try and match it to our own collection. Uh, Diana from Some Call Me Coco sort of got this seasonal polish rack thing going years ago and I was obsessed with her videos back then and I, the obsession continues. I just really enjoy seeing what people have. So I'm talking your ear off, I'm rambling. Let me get my glasses on just so that I can really um, see the light. I always have a hard time with the lighting in this as well but um, I'm just going to go kind of through the polishes and this sometimes gets a little long, I do apologize, but I have some really fun stuff. Summer, ugh, summer was a bust for me. I wore a few summer polishes, that was it. So hopefully fall goes a little better. Um, but let's get started. And um, I have two tiers of my spinning rack here um, to share with you guys. I always pull a ton of polish and I'm lucky to wear like maybe 10, but that's life. So <laughs> I like the process of going through my collection and like digging things out. And that is part of the fun of me for this video. So. The more I get to dig out, the better. So this is going to be Orly's Here Comes the Sun. Let me see if I can get a little bit better light on the polish. Okay, so I don't know, lighting is off. This is sort of a mustardy yellow. This was in their, I believe, spring collection. I was obsessed with the spring collection. I actually got the um, Orly Pass. I don't know what they call it, but I got the early pass based on the spring collection and I haven't worn anything I've gotten except for maybe one. This is called Kitsch You Later. It's sort of like an orange. Um, to me, this sort of says fall because it is a little bit dusty, so I'm super excited to try that. This has been on my rack and I didn't take it off. This is Show Em Who's Blossom from China Glaze, sort of a mossy green. Then I have a similar type green from Essie um, Expressi. This is So a Matcha Energy super pretty um when i go down i have like three chains disregard that don't mind it um next one is going to be recharge to take charge and this is sort of like a dusty type of blue really gorgeous um this one is called speed of life sort of like a cross between a green and a yellow with a little bit of gray i don't know interesting color i'm not sure how that's going to be in my skin tone but i'm excited to try it this one is called In A Flash Sale. I love the name. My son's girlfriend actually bought this for me. And I'm just, I never talk makeup, but let me show you guys this because she bought it with it and I thought it was so cute that she wants me to matchy matchy. So she got me um Small But Sweet, a makeup palette from iHeart Revolution. And um, it's peach scented. And you guys can see everything kind of goes together, which is super fun. My is a makeup diva. She is a big time makeup person. Um, but look at this. Isn't that, you guys, giving you life? So I need to take this out for fall and um, do a little matchy-matchy. Maybe around Halloween because it's orange. So super excited. And she's so sweet, you guys. I love my son's girlfriend. She's just a total sweetheart. She treats me so well. Um, if your son has to have a girlfriend, which sometimes makes mom sad, like she is one I would definitely pick. So such a fun one. This was sent to me by my friend Angela. This is Antique Gold from Molten Metals um let me see here berry m i think it could be textured i feel like it could be textured it's really gorgeous has some beautiful shimmer in it the light is kind of not showing that as pretty as it is and then i forgot i have another essie here this is essie's bed rock and roll i wore this last fall or two falls ago probably last fall obsessed with it super gorgeous um so i decided to pull it out and wear it again if i can um then i wanted to get a little dark and vampy so i am going with grenade irreverent i think it is from um the l'oreal line my friend angela also sent me this one as well and it's like really just super sexy so i'm excited for that um this has been on my rack for a bit as well this is quixotic polishes Decidious 2.0. Um, I kind of bought this because I thought it reminded me a little bit of um, Butter London Two Finger Salute. 
and that's been a lemming of mine and so I picked it up it's super pretty has some really beautiful shimmer and flake and I just haven't worn it yet I have a couple from polish this is going to be oh my gosh demos or something like that she always has the weirdest polish names but this was sent to me from my friend Amy Sue for my birthday super beautiful gorgeous brick red sort of grandma this one is called drift um, another polish friend sent this to me and she sent me a big huge package and you guys if that is not fall perfection I don't know what is I have another oldie but goodie here this is ice burgers and fries from OPI I've worn this multiple times I love it on my skin tone I always think it's like really nice and classy for fall so great one there um, I have Olive F Polishes Patterson this is a gorgeous oops this is a gorgeous fiery orange um I believe, I feel like you can get a better color back here. Um, I believe this was from a last year's fall collection. I could be wrong, um, but so gorgeous, you guys. If you have not tried olive oil polish, I definitely would. If y'all are in Canada, V, my girl V just started her own um, stockist site, which is super exciting for her and for everybody because she's carrying a lot of really fun brands that I know sometimes in Canada you guys can't get. Olive oil polish is one of them. And let me get you the name of her her site so her site is going to be polished haven um i'll link an instagram down below for you guys so if you guys are in canada and you want to check out what she has definitely go check it out shout out to v she's an amazing person her and i chat very often she's a very dear friend um someone you want to give your money to um just an overall great person so um, next up is going to be Sally Hansen Miracle Gels Hue There. I bought this last year. I thought it would get opaque on its own. It seems like something you might want to top over something, but it's like a hollow, um, really fun, something different for the drugstore. I don't feel like the light is showing it, but it's really pretty. Next, I have a bunch up from Believe Beauty from Dollar General. This is called Follow the Leader, you guys. This has the most beautiful glow. I hope you guys can see it. It's like super gorgeous. It's like super gorgeous. Hopefully, there you go. You can kind of see it there. Um, so these are available exclusively at Dollar General. Um, I have tried a lot from the Believe Beauty line. They're amazing. A lot of stuff is um, 250. Everything is 250 or less. The ones I'm showing, I believe, are 250. They do have polishes, a polish line for a dollar um, as well. So this one is called It's a Match. And this sort of reminded me of the Essie um, Canyon. This is a little bit more dusty. This is a little more fiery. Um, kind of gives me like plain koi vibes. Um, if you follow Variety Varnish, I'll link hers down below if I remember. She did a comparison, I believe, of this with a few other colors in case y'all are interested. But I haven't tried this yet and I am excited for it. And then last one is going to be Concrete Jungle, which is sort of like a bluish green type of color. I love these type of colors for fall. I just feel like it's such a nice shade. I don't know why I'm having so much problems with my lighting, but I am. Um, this one is called Baroque Jungle from China Glaze. Super old. I hunted this down, have not worn it yet. This has gone on multiple, multiple seasonal racks, so hopefully this is the year for Baroque Jungle. Um, then I am just still feeling all the orange love. I have Good as Marigold from um, China Glaze. I believe this came out in a spring collection. Uh, but to me it just kind of says fall like I want to get some fall brightness you know I love my bright polishes and I feel like this gives me fall colors but it's still bright and a little bit eye-catching on the nail um this is a thermal from Colotus to Carol this is Penny this is part of her new Halloween collection I have a live swatch and review if you guys it was the last video I posted so if you guys want to go check it out but it transitions from this really beautiful purple to like a orange but very classy it didn't give me complete Halloween vibes so I decided to put it on my seasonal rack instead of for a Halloween polish then I have all of a sudden from Supernatural Lacquer. I skipped this the first time I came out in PPU because I am insane. I picked it up this time. Super excited. It's gorgeous. Then sometimes I'm in the mood for a good like pinky orange in the fall. This is MJ Lacquer's. Oh, there's no, there's no tag on this. So this was a PR sample. But let me get you all the name because I swatched it not too long ago in case you want to go check it out. Um, and like just it's super gorgeous, you guys. Um. So this is called Hollow Nail Therapy. Super beautiful. Um, then this is Alter Ego's Armor On Ready to Fight. This was from last year's Breast um, Cancer Awareness Collection. Just a beautiful um, pink sort of foil finish. Really gorgeous polish. 
I have another Essie that's totally out of place, but um, this is Angora Cardi. This has been on my list for years. I bought it and I just have not worn it. So hopefully, again, this is the year. Then I have um, Emily Damali's Balancing Act. You guys, this is from PPU. I feel like the purple base does have fall vibes. Then you get some brightness with that red glitter. I have another Emily Damali. This is LE180. It's like a yellow, sort of like terracotta finish type polish. Really pretty. Kind of bright, but I think it is fall appropriate. I have Beatnik from um, Cert Colors. This has been on my rack for a bit. I definitely want to get that on the nails. Um, Enchanted Polish had a big sale. I've never purchased from them. And during this sale, I got Sci-Fi. You guys, I think I saw this on um, Brittle. I can't think of her full Instagram handle. If I remember, I will link it down below, but it's brittle something. She wore this, it was amazing. I was like, I gotta have it. Um, if you do not follow her, follow her. She has amazing swatches. I have Night Owl Lacquer Shredded Black. This is just like a shredded glitter topper of just black, matte black, shredded white. Same thing, I ordered these a while back. Haven't gotten around to them yet. Then I have OPI's Rated PG. This was from the spring collection. Everybody was obsessed with this. I was as well. I bought it, haven't worn it. so. Hopefully now in the fall, I will get to it. I have Emily Damali's Mantra. I was obsessed with this whole collection. I ordered pretty much the whole thing and have not worn any single one of them because that's how I roll. This is Emily Damali's Half Orange. Um, I bought this because my friend Catalina put it on a video and I was just like, OMG, and I bought it and I haven't worn it, but it is amazing. Um, I've seen multiple people swatch this and it looks so good. Then I have Painted Polishes Mystery Crelly Corte, um, sort of like a weird cross between a white, yellow, gray with some flakies. I don't know how that's going to be on my skin tone, but I am excited to try it. I have KB Shimmers. Everything is a... Mm. Everything is a bound something. The label's kind of rubbing off there, but... Ugh. She has been coming out with the most beautiful multi-chromes, you guys, and she has a beautiful multi-chrome collection. I feel like fall is a great time for multi-chromes. Then I have Perfectly Suited. This was from her summer collection, but to me this screams fall. I did not think I was going to enjoy this collection on my skin tone, but I was obsessed. Um, and then I have What the Fudge. This is the most amazing brown cream, you guys. I'm totally obsessed with it. It was super flattering on my skin tone. If you are into neutrals and you haven't found a good neutral for your skin tone and your skin tone is similar to mine, check this one out. Extremely flattering. Um, next, I have Polish M's Squash Goals. This is old. It was sent to me as PR. I swatched it. I loved it. I want to wear it as a full nanny. Um, I have Polished M's Autumn Aura. I bought this on my own. Um, super beautiful. It needs to be mixed up a little, but sort of like a poopy color with some glitter. You guys know how I feel about my pooped out glitter polishes. Um, then I have Where Are You from KB Shimmer. This was from PPU October 2020. I was obsessed with this. Um, so it's just an interesting take. It's based on Scooby-Doo. I feel like she hits the inspiration. I thought it was really flattering. Um, I have Colores de Carol's Mystic Connecticut. This is a topper that came out in last year's fall collection. Total fall appropriate. Total fall vibes. Um, this was for PR. This is Sun's Out, Papaya's Out from last month's HHC. You guys, if this doesn't say fall to you, then I don't even know. This also kind of reminds me of Bumblebee from Transformers, <laughs> but I'm obsessed with it. It's so pretty. Then again, I was going for a little bit of something bright. This is Sunnyside Glow. This was from a summer collection, but I feel like, again, it sort of gives me the vibes of this polish. Um, I get a little bit of brightness, but it is sort of fall appropriate. I may put it in some kind of Skittle to tone it down a little for fall, or I may not. Um, I have Pink Sand from People of Color Beauty. This is my all-time favorite nude ever of life, you guys. If you are similar to my skin tone and you're looking for a really good pinky, taupey nude, um, this is it. Like... I literally want to marry this polish. If you guys remember, I'm obsessed with it. Um, great formula as well. Great brand to support. Um, she's all about um, supporting. She's all about making polishes that look good on women of color, which I am obsessed with. The polishes are for everybody, of course, but she specifically picks colors that look good on deeper tones. And so, um, amazing. If y'all are darker, you know sometimes it's hard to find a good nude like in the drugstore because to them nude is like peach and I'm not peach. Other people aren't peach. So good. I'll get off my high horse now. Um, next up from Shlee, I have Weed, Weed of Sorrows. 
I don't know. It's a really gorgeous sort of like um, mauve purple flaky balm. I got this in a D-stash. Next up, I have um, Fair Maidens. I have the power. This is from November's PPU in 2019. I'm going way back here. Um, I believe this is based on she which I am obsessed with. she and He-Man and Castle Grayskull. So I had to get it. Sometimes I'm in the mood for something a little more delicate. I wear this color a lot in my clothes in the fall. So this is having our own party. The brand is called La Polish. I don't think it's a brand anymore, but it's a baby pink with flakies. I've worn it before. I like it. So decided to pull it out again. Um, this is from Restored by Polish. This is a newer brand if you guys are not familiar. Um, I did a collaboration with them for anxiety and depression awareness, and they do awareness polishes. This one is called Strong. Um, it's sort of an orange crelly with some really fun glitter, so I'm super excited for this. Um, so they donate the proceeds of the polishes to the causes that the um, polishes are promoting. I don't remember what this one was about, but um, check out their site. I'll link it down below again if I remember, and you guys can go and support some causes they have on there. Great formulas on the polish as well and affordable. So this is Restored by Polishes Brave, and you guys, look at that. Sometimes you need a little sparkle in the fall. I feel like the color is fall appropriate, but then you get some glitter, so I'm super excited about that one. Next up, I have Bees Knees Lacquer Witness Marks. This was sent to me by a Polish friend. I don't know how this is going to look on my skin tone, but this will be my first time trying Bees Knees Lacquer, and I'm super excited to do it. And then she also sent me Screaming Mimi's. You guys, look at that. Just the most gorgeous shimmer. You guys are obsessed with Bees Knees Lacquer, so I feel like behind the curve, so I need to try it. This is Simple Colors Clay Me. This is from an older Stone Crystal Shimmer collection. My friend Ebony sent me this. I had a lot of the collection, but I did not have this one. Um, Stone Crystal Shimmers from Simple Colors is legit one of my favorite collections for polish of all time. It came out a long time ago, but I felt like every polish was super good. Um, I've tried a ton of them. I've loved them all, and I'm excited to try this one. Then I picked this one up from their new essentials line. This is called Chamomile Calm. So they're scented, and you guys, look at that. That is like baby poop in a bottle, and you know how I feel about baby poop in a bottle. In. Take my money. So my friend Catalina from Gotta Love Polish is one of the best polish friends a girl could ever have. She was able to get a hold of Butter London's Two Finger Salute, a few bottles. I placed an order and my order never came from eBay. So I was like straight up legit devastated. She offered to send me one of her spares, even though this was a long time lemming of hers as well. And um, I'm so excited. This has to go on my nails this fall. Um, I just want to say, look at that. I just want to say thank you to my friend Carolina for making my polished dreams come true. You guys need to get yourself a Carolina in your life. Not only is she a good polished friend, she's an amazing just person and friend in general. LA Colors Color Craze Gel. Um, I have Knockout. This was sent to me by a subscriber. And you guys, look how pretty that is. These never came to my area. I don't know why or how, um, but they decided to send me that, and it's pretty. I have Heart Soother from Glisten and Glow. I don't remember. This was part of, like, a Polish Gamers or a Charity Box or something. It was for PR, but you all, this was amazing on the nails. Total vampy goodness. Then Geekish Glitter changed her bottles, and this is Shilla, I believe. Um, you guys, look at this color, and there's some beautiful gold flakes in it. I really have an orange thing going this month, but I'm I'm here for it. Then next up, I have Alter Ego's Can You Spare Any Change. This is a silver sort of glitter with some copper glitters. I feel like the copper gives me fall vibes, and I feel like I could do some sort of like um, combination on the nails, a skittle. So I'm excited about that. I have another polish, which is out of place. This is Space Cowboy. I bought this off a D-Stash. Um, the shimmer on this just called to me. I feel like it's not showing up like very nicely on the nail, but it's super pretty. Another thing I bought in a D-Stash is going to be Picture Polish's Meow. And um, it's just a really beautiful teal, sort of holographic, shimmery type polish. Then I have two magnetics. Um, this is Mahalo from Esmaltas de Cali. When I saw such pictures of this, you guys, I literally died. Then they brought me back to life and I was able to order the polish and um thank the lord <laughs> so now that my nails are longer i'm excited to wear some magnetic so this may be something i wear really soon just because i feel like magnetics are hard for me personally on short nails i'm not saying i don't like the look but for myself i feel on longer nails they just look a little better 
so I need to try that. Then after I got this and I realized how beautiful it was, she put out another thermal or another magnetic that I had to have. And this is Sharp Fangs. This was based on Jurassic Park and this is PPU April 21. Um, so I'm excited for that one as well. And I feel like they do have fall appropriate colors. So hopefully I don't have another nail break knock on wood this is from moonshine manny it's called we are the spark it's a beautiful topper um when i swatched this i did it as a skittle with this on top and it was amazing so i feel like i've been talking and talking and talking the time says i have been talking and talking and talking so that is everything i have pulled for fall fingers crossed people that i get a lot of stuff worn i'm hoping for like 10. i feel like fall goes by so fast because I pretty much try to wear summer colors all the way into the end of September. Then it's October and I jump straight into Halloween and I do Halloween all month. If I'm lucky, I get to wear a lot of Halloween polishes because that is like my favorite nail season besides summer. And it's one of my favorite holidays, times of the year. I bought a ton of um, like pumpkin stuff from Sheen, pumpkin clothes, jewelry. I'll have to do a Sheen haul, you guys. It's so cute. I'm so excited. Um, and so I feel like I really only get to do fall polish in November. And it goes by so fast and then i never really know what is a winter polish so i may keep a lot of this stuff here on the rack and just wear it in the winter but i feel like a little bit darker stuff goes more wintry than some of these like oranges i have pulled so i don't know we'll see what happens but um fall just flies by for me so um that is it you guys let me know if you have any of these polishes is anything i pulled anything you pulled um did i add anything to your wish list um I don't know just let me know what y'all think in the comments down below and again please go check out everybody else that i link in the description box you will not be disappointed i plan to binge watch these all day all weekend um i just love them so that is it for this video you guys if you liked it please make sure to click the like button down below if you have not subscribed to my channel please do and thanks you guys for watching i will see you all in the next video i hope you're having an amazing day bye